Good news for people who love glaciers, the Cleveland Indians get a giant corkscrew and naked energy on your roof. All this and more on this week's Screen Tech Weekly! week we talked about Fisker replacing the batteries for most Karma owners. The battery manufacturer A123 is making the replacement after a manufacturing error was identified. It looks like this will cost A123 about $55 million to complete these swaps, digging a financial hole from which they may not emerge. Fisker has added that they will be extending the warranty of their battery packs to 60 months instead of the previous 50. Good luck to any of our viewers who are lucky enough to own one of these cars. Hello again people of the internet, welcome to show number 30. This is the place you can laugh about us and get some green tech news too. For our first story, the satellite data shows that glaciers of Karakoram are actually growing instead of melting over the past 10 years. Woo, yay, yippee, all right, Huzzah! Huzzah! Yay! Karakoram is a large Asian mountain range next to the Himalayas. It includes K2, the second largest mountain in the world. Resident smart gal Julie Gardell and her team at the University of Grenoble in France looked at satellite photos from 1999 and another from 2008 and found how much the glacier had actually changed. Now don't everybody get too excited though, the overall collection of water added to the top was only enough to keep the oceans from rising by as little as 0.11 millimeters, far less than what is being added by the ever decreasing ice sheets of the rest of the world. Aww. Aww. The smart people behind the discovery really don't know why this glacier is so special, but I'm sure they'll keep trying to find out. In our second story, the Cleveland Indians want to go green in a big way. And I don't mean by expanding the outfield. And the jar. <sighs> okay, they recently gained a 40 foot tall, 40,000 kilowatt helix wind turbine with hopes to use its magical powers to help them win the next season. I don't think that's what they're hoping to do. The plan is to use the giant corkscrew to generate most of their power and cut down on the energy bills of each game. The special design will amplify the wind by a factor of 1.5, meaning a 10 mile per hour breeze will be blowing at 15 miles per hour when it goes through the fan blades. Special kiosks around the stadium will show how the whole system works for when you're bored with the game. It's up and running now, so I'm sure they'll be showing it off on all the sports channels. In this next story, a British company by the name of Naked Energy <laughs> it's naked. has brought the best part of solar water heating tubes and solar panels together in hybrid bliss. The concept puts solar panels in a vacuum sealed tube they call the Virtue Tube. The new tube design is then placed in the sun and as it heats up, the solar panels are kept closer to their optimal working temperature. This makes them 46% more efficient than normal solar panels. With all that heating of the tubes, the system then runs your water through it and keeps your showers nice and warm. As long as they're short. At the moment, they do not have a release date for when you can get these hybrid tubes, so we have to continue using our clothed energy on our roofs while we wait. For our last story, we have a cooking pot with superpowers. Awesome! This cooking pot can help you make a mean stew and charge your cell phone at the same time. Wow, that is awesome! The pot has two versions, the PowerPot 5 and the PowerPot 10, with the ability to produce 5 and 10 watts respectively. Using thermoelectric tech, it outputs to a regular female USB so you can charge all sorts of things. The PowerPot was funded on a Kickstarter project that needed $50,000 to get it going. It was funded at more than $74,000 with 11 days left when we recorded this episode. Looks like I know what I want next time I go camping. Head over to their website and throw some money at them if you want one. Check out our show notes for the link. And that's another show. We hope you liked it and hit the like and the subscribe. While you're at it, follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Be sure to comment below. And as always, remember to rethink it green. Rethink it green. Rethink it green.